Journal Entry 157. Sure enough, Wolf Lake sent out a huge army, at least as large as the force we fought at Wolf Gate Fort. So, the Battle of Wolf Tail Mills. We set up the catapults quickly in case they did another horde charge, but no. Something else happened entirely. I knew something was up when they arrived. They had 30 or so big caravan carts with them. We initially thought they were an unusually guarded supply train before they started getting into formation. Phalanx. The initial archer and magic volleys began, but their side never threw offensive spells, just defensive ones. We launched our catapult bombs, all eight of them this time. The enemy ranks were thrown into chaos, and then we moved in. They put up a good fight this time, all our waves were deployed. Just as it looked like another route, the cart started unloading. Skeletons, zombies, undead. The enemy spellcasters did their thing, and the slain enemy soldiers started getting up as fresh batch. It's the first time I've seen anything like this. I felt a chill go down my spine. I had heard stories, but here it is. Every nation and religion that we'd come across has banned this type of thing. What the fuck is going on here? Neither my skills nor my pistol are any good against undead. I had to rely on my weaker swordsmanship. The archers weren't much use either except for picking off the living enemy, which just made more undead. We started losing ground quickly. The undead don't care. They keep fighting even when half their limbs are missing. Any casualties on our side rose in service of theirs and they weren't letting us anywhere near the casters who rose them. Well, something happened to Avery. She had been sitting in the back with the rest of the non-combatants. She snapped, I think. She walked right into the middle of the battle and lit up like a fucking beacon. She picked up a mace and went to town. I didn't even know she had it in her. With her help, we managed to form a wedge and push right through to the caster line. They pulled into a full retreat once we got near, taking whatever undead servants we didn't utterly destroy. We lost nearly half our forces in this fight. Journal Entry 158 Well, after all that excitement, we burned down Wolf Tail Mills and hauled ass out of there. Though we won, we suffered major losses in this fight and it'll be time and money before High Command can get our numbers back up. So, what would drive a nation well respected by other kingdoms to break out the necromancers? Is the king that afraid of losing? Every church that doesn't break ties with them now will be turned upon by the people. This type of shit doesn't fly. The people of this world are highly superstitious and marching around undead is one of the greatest taboos. High Command has deployed messengers to everywhere possible to spread the news. Avery's been in prayer since we set up our tent. Does her God answer her? I don't know how that works here. <laughs>